Hi, this is Russ Ryden with Devoted Golfer TV. I'm here today with Phil Telemonte, Telemonte Golf Chefs. Hi, Russ. Phil's been in the business for a long time and he's going to give us a little bit of his history. I was uh, in the early 90s, I was actually president of uh, Wood Brothers Golf. Wood Brothers, uh, as some may, may remember, was a company who, when wood heads were still actually made of wood, uh, Wood Brothers had some of the best product uh, in the market, some of the best persimmon heads in, in use by a number of tour players, a um, number of major wins, great product. And that was, of course, before uh, Callaway came out with Big Ber Bertha and the market uh, changed uh, quite a bit. The Callaway Big Bertha, that was the first metal driver head I played. Certainly, uh, Bertha was, was the first metal head that was marketed. Uh, successfully. There had been some others before that, but uh, Callaway uh, changed the landscape of the business completely with the, uh, with the marketing budgets and all the advertising they did behind that, uh, that Bertha product. Woods Brothers goes away. What's next for Phil? I became Executive Vice President General Manager of Soft Spikes, the um, cleats that supplanted metal in the marketplace. You're at a wood head company that gets replaced with metal. Then you go to soft spikes and replace metal spikes with plastic. Was that some form of latent revenge? Uh, that, that's, that's actually hilarious. I'd never thought about it in that context before, but yes, that's, that is exactly what happened. And what brought you back to the equipment side of the golf business? I'd always had a passion for clubs and, and club making and golf shafts. And at that time, uh, joined SST, Strategic Shaft Technologies, which some folks may recognize as the SST Pure Technology. Uh, we brought it into the marketplace, uh, began to take on some licensees, and uh, took that technology forward. Advanced Shaft Dynamics, your former company. It evolves out of your understanding of the performance benefits of shaft alignment? I started my own company called Advanced Shaft Dynamics, and some folks may remember it as uh, ASD, uh, introduced, uh, invented and introduced a technology of my own uh, that was in use by a number of tour players and uh, became quite popular and we had a, a great, great run in 2004 uh, with a particular player who pretty much, uh, player who had pretty much run the table on him out there on tour. 2004, who was that? Uh, it was BJ Singh. He uh, won five, I believe it was five out of seven tournaments that he entered right after he started using uh, ASD's peak performance locating technology. Went on to become player of the year, money title, Barden Trophy, uh, it was a great, great year and a great, great run for us and, and him. Where did that technology go? Uh, I, I still have the technology that I invented when I was uh, with Advanced Shaft Dynamics and that Advanced Shaft Dynamics, had, uh, we marketed under the Peak Performance Locating brand. Um, I still have the technology and it's uh, incorporated into the product that, uh, that I produce today, the golf shafts uh, that bear my name. Tell Monty Shafts, what's the history? Uh, I introduced uh, shafts, my branded shafts, in 2008, and um, no marketing, no, no big fanfare, and uh, it's been entirely word of mouth uh, to this point, entirely player word of mouth driven, and it's uh, gotten significant traction in the market. There are a lot of golf shafts in this business. What's unique about Telmonte? Uh, there, there are some engineering differences uh, that make the shafts uh, different from others. Uh, one of the things we do on the materials side is we manufacture our own prepreg material and our own proprietary resin. You mentioned prepreg. In my experience, only the big shaft companies have their own material integration. It, it's certainly something that, that not all uh, shaft companies do on their own, manufacture their own prepreg. We feel it gives us a uh, uh, a lot greater ability to control our designs, control our layups, and, uh, and the performance characteristics that we're trying to create in the shafts. What's the benefit to the player? The uh, benefit to the player is, is some product designs that are going to achieve some pretty unique uh, performance characteristics. Um, they will, um, in the case of the PD70 driver shaft, for instance, it, it's a shaft that is uh, a low spin shaft, high launch, mid to high launch shaft, but isn't so tip stiff uh, that it can't be hit uh, by somebody with a, with a lower swing speed. I see on Telmonte shafts the label MOI optimized. Explain this. I have to assume we're talking about advanced shaft dynamics alignment system. Uh, what it means to the golfer is, is an increased ability to return the club head to square at impact. Uh, creates a more stable orientation position and more of a marriage between the golf shaft and the club head. 
uh, that makes for a uh, much more solid solid strike. Does it make that much of a difference? Oh, it, it certainly does. We, we've proved it in, uh, in, in numerous types of testing, robotic, player testing, uh, the experience that we had on tour, and it, uh, it does make a difference. You'll get varying opinion about the proper way to analyze a golf shaft, but there's no question that orientation uh, of a golf shaft into a club head in some certain way is, uh, is beneficial. I've heard from Robin Arthur that the testing he did really shocked him. The benefits alignment were immediately apparent with tour grade ball strikers. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, especially our early work uh, out on tour with advanced shaft dynamics. When we worked with players, they often, oftentimes had trouble believing that the only difference in the golf club was the orientation of the golf shaft into the club head. Your driver shafts, the 70 and 80, have different EI profiles. Would you explain that? Yeah, we have, uh, initially we came out with two models that we still have, the PD-70 and the PD-80. The PD-70 was designed to be a driver-specific shaft, um, mid to high launch, low spin shaft. In the case of the 80, we wanted it to complement the 70, but since uh, fairway woods are generally the most difficult shot for players to hit, we altered the profile a little bit on the PD-80 so that it would be uh, a little bit easier to get the ball up in the air. So the PD-80 is really intended as a high launch fairway complement to the PD-70 driver shaft. I love high launch fairway shafts and if you look at my own bag you will only find shafts I have identified as high launch high spin in my fairways. Yeah it's uh, it's it's really been uh, quite something for players who, who've hit it. They're players who've struggled with fairway woods uh, uh, just for years who are, who are having such great success with the shaft. You also offer two hybrid shafts. How do they integrate with your driver shafts? Hybrids even have a little bit more of a complication to them in that they also have to match the set of irons. You, you may have a player playing a 120 gram, 130 gram iron shaft and maybe playing something 60, 70 grams in their, in their driver to fit that transition and, and to make sure that you, uh, you know, you're putting something in there that works with the entire set is uh, part of the art of making uh, hybrid shafts. I find I have to fit strong players' hybrid shafts to match their iron shafts rather than their fairway shafts. Yeah, what we did is we have uh, two models, the 85 and the 100. The 85 is, is the model that's probably going to be played more, maybe 80% of the market plays something in that 85 gram range. It's a little bit higher launching and um, a little bit, little bit lower spin. So a player may be still looking for, for some distance there with the 85. In the case of the 100, uh, one of the chief complaints from better players with hybrid shafts is the fact that hybrid shafts cause the ball to balloon on them. So what we did is created in the 100 a shaft that's a little bit lower launching. Again, the player doesn't need help with, with launching. Head loft does all that needs to be done in that regard for the stronger player. So something that's a little bit more of a, a mid-launch shaft, if you will, and something that actually has a little bit of spin on it. Uh, so that they can stop the ball. It's, it's more of a, a, I hesitate to say, better player shaft. It's a stronger player shaft. What's coming from Tel Monte? Perhaps some lighter weight driver shafts? We actually do have a, uh, an ultralight uh, in the works right now. Between uh, 47 to 52 grams is, is what we're targeting with our ultralight. Uh, we have some other, other driver models coming out as well. But yes, the, the ultralight is definitely one of the, uh, the areas that we're going to hit soon. In my experience with ultralight shafts, I've had limited success. What success I have had is limited to the very best shafts available to me. My personal feeling is that to produce a high performance ultralight carbon fiber product, the quality standards and materials must be much higher than a heavier shaft requires. Well, you're, you're right. Certainly in terms of manufacturing tolerances, you have to have some very tight tolerances to produce something that light. And, and also materials. You have to have some incredibly good materials because the shafts become so thin-walled at that weight that uh, the material uh, quality just has to be there. So, Phil, tell Monty Shafts, how is it that I didn't hear about them until last week? Well, we've done no, no marketing whatsoever. It's been entirely uh, player word of mouth driven. Uh, fortunately, that player word of mouth has been extremely positive and uh, got lightning in a bottle. We've got a lot of traction now and it's, uh, this is our year to kind of uh, expand on the success that we've had introduce some new product and, uh, and make a major run at the business this year. 
So I'll be looking forward to some lighter weight driver shafts when they come out. Well, I'll be looking forward to getting you one as soon as they do. We'll uh, welcome your opinion. You'll be one of the first to have one. Well, thanks for spending time with us here today on Devoted Golfer TV. Well, th thanks for having me on your show, Russ.